I'm looking today at Psalm 80 and I just had a quick conversation with my wife just now. Uh, we were talking about Germany and she mentioned that there are shepherds uh, who have a competition regarding uh, sheep herding, a little bit like uh, it happens in uh, the north of England as well, a place like the Lake District, where they have sheepdog trials. They try and uh, compete with each other about how they shepherd the sheep and their skills and how they use uh, sheepdogs. Psalm 80 talks about a shepherd, and this is what it says. Listen to us, a shepherd of Israel. Hear us, leader of your flock. Seated on your throne above the winged creatures, reveal yourself to the tribes of Ephraim, Benjamin and Manasseh. Show us your strength and come and save us. Bring us back, O God. Show us your mercy and we will be saved. How much longer, God, Lord God Almighty, will you be angry with your people's prayers? You've given us sorrow to eat, a large cup of tears to drink. You let the surrounding nations fight over our land. Our enemies insult us. Bring us back, almighty God. Show us your mercy and we will be saved. You brought a grapevine out of Egypt. You drove out other nations and planted it in their land. You cleared a place for it to grow. Its roots went deep and it spread out over the whole land. It covered the hills with its shade. Its branches overshadowed the, the giant cedars. It extended its branches to the Mediterranean Sea and as far as the river Euphrates. Why did you break down the fences around it? Now anyone passing by can steal its grapes. Wild pigs trample it down and wild animals feed on it. Turn to us, almighty God. Look down from heaven at us and come and save your people. Come and save this grapevine that you planted, this young vine you made grow so strong. Our enemies have set it on fire and cut it down. Look at them in anger and destroy them. Preserve and protect the people you have chosen, the nation you made so strong. We will never turn away from you again. Keep us alive and we will praise you. Bring us back, Lord God Almighty. Show us your mercy and we will be saved. So there's a very interesting uh, analogy there. God is like the shepherd to Israel. His people are like the flock. And then the psalmist moves on and uses this illustration of a, a grapevine, one that has spread, that's done quite well, that's extended. Uh, it's gone out to the right and to the left. It's really uh, spread its influence <clears throat> over quite a large geographical area. But the only problem is that there's... Uh, a whole series of things that have come and uh, damaged it and destroyed its fruit and uh, really it's not doing very well it's not flourishing I remember going to the south of France with some friends who have a house there and uh, one of the main problems with uh, grapevines is the the wild boars and they they come in and into the fields and they they steal the grapes, uh, just like it says here, and they uh, cause a lot of problems uh, for the vineyard owners. We need to pray that God would give us uh, strength and grace, particularly when we're in a place of influence. Sometimes when our influence spreads, uh, like this psalm talks about, um, we can become a little bit proud we can be complacent we can think it's really because of us when God's blessed us and we have a spread of influence but we need to remember and recall to mind that God is our shepherd and we are his flock we need to be under his uh, leadership under his discipline we also need to recognise that all that we have uh, all that we have in terms of influence, in terms of fruitfulness, in terms of opportunity, in terms of favour, uh, is a gift. And that was the important thing, really, that the psalmist was wrestling with. Lord, you've favoured us before, you've given us influence, you've, uh, 
you've blessed us, you've flourished, but why are these things happening? Why is it that that seems to be coming under so much attack? And why is it that uh, it is starting to be a situation where God's people are not flourishing at all? So my prayer today is that we would be really able to humble ourselves, to walk in humility and recognising God's mercy. And we will turn back to him and trust him and depend on him as a shepherd, uh, that we'll be recognising that we need to be led by him, that we're his sheep. We can be stupid sometimes, we can be uh, easily wandering away and we need his discipline, his guidance his leadership in our lives. My prayer is that we would be recognising that God has given us influence and fruitfulness and opportunity and, and all the rest of it, but only as a gift of his grace and something that we need to honour and treasure, but also recognise that it's not something that's all about us. And sometimes when we lose that, sometimes when that's attacked sometimes when that's uh, not as uh, flourishing perhaps as we would like it to be. I pray that we would be uh, looking back to him and seeking his mercy and his grace in our lives and recognising that everything that we've received is only from him and all for his glory and needs to be under his leadership.